Is it done? Are you safe? Oh, I got it. Stealing the cure for restless leg syndrome? Pretty diabolical, huh? <laughs> hey, I was thinking, isn't it kind of fucked up that we stole the cure for RLS? I mean, he could have really used it. I don't really care. He's an asshole to me. Yeah, that's true. And I haven't even had a good night's sleep in weeks. <sighs> the time when he got me a hot caramel macchiato instead of an iced one? Yeah, he freaks out on me because I pour it over his head. If you don't want hot coffee poured on your head, maybe get me the right order. <laughs> Shoot. I mean, I wish things didn't end so poorly between the two of us. I mean, we had so much potential. Well, maybe you should just get back with him. Maybe we should get back together. I was kidding. I think I'm gonna text him right now. Okay. You do you. Jessica, can I talk to you? It's Peter. He called the feds on me. Because I pretended to be his assistant and I canceled all of his Pilates classes. They were on the same day as The Bachelor and he said he would watch it with me. He's just afraid of commitment. It just makes me so mad that I think I'm just, I'm just gonna have to steal that virus in Canada, the one that makes you shit yourself. I'm gonna have to. The world must feel, it has to feel my pain. Are you gonna help me? No, Lauren, you're on your own. Well, fine, fine. The Canadian Virus Lab has a security system that rivals most national banks and nuclear missile facilities. First, I'll need to get into the main laboratory. Those doors won't open without an authorized retina identification and vocal confirmation. The floor is impregnated with motion sensors that sends out a pack of wild dogs once the infiltrator is detected. There are Blackwater paramilitary guards covering the perimeter of the lab at a 100 yard radius, yielding the most powerful assault rifles created by a man who has long lost his god. Huh, easy, right? Welcome to the Canadian Virus Labs. Uh, yeah, hi. What you looking for? I can help you. I'm looking for the virus that makes you shit uncontrollably. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't have it ready for you. Oh, oh, you don't, you don't need to say sorry. No, that's, that's, that's okay. I'll go get you one. Thank you very much. Uh, well, goodbye. <laughs> this is Lauren San Jose, and I'm speaking to you, Peter. <laughs> we could have had it all. We could have had it all, baby, but no. You wouldn't let it. No. <laughs> so. The whole world's gonna know how shitty you made me feel by me unleashing this virus. <laughs> As I lay there, dying from shitting myself to death, the crushing wave of the gravity of my actions washed over me. Was I the selfish one after all? Wasn't there some way we could have worked it out? We could have slept in separate beds. 